Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I'm checking out from Revlon the Illuminance Serum Tint. Retails for $18.99 for 0.94 fluid ounces or 28 milliliters of product. That is the equivalent of $20.20 US cents per ounce. So yes, we have yet another 20 plus dollar foundation at the drugstore. Who's excited? <laughs> hmm. 16 different shades. I have the fourth shade buff beige. This is described as light coverage to instantly and visibly enhance your complexion and even skin tone over time with results in four to eight weeks. Now this is getting 4.3 out of five stars with just over 1,700 reviews on Ulta's website. And the claim to fame for this guy here, it's got ginger root, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And that is what is giving us that evening skin tone. And I think what they're primarily talking about is reducing dark spots and, and discoloration in the skin over time. It's also SPF 15. It's a combination physical and mineral sunscreen, which SPF 15 to me is like, why bother? It doesn't even count. Uh, I would not even pretend there's sunscreen in it because 15 is not protecting this Casper the Friendly Ghost face here. I'm looking on the ingredients because I forgot to check if there was any added fragrance listed. Sherlock is helping me. I'm not seeing it in a quick scan here. Doesn't mean that there aren't other ingredients in here giving it scent, but the the all ambiguous fragrance label is not there, at least from what I could tell looking at it quickly. So let's take a look at this shade buff beige swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Revlon, the Illuminance Serum Tint in shade 209 Buff Beige. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place and 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is Max Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 49-year-old face since I did my skincare a couple of hours ago at this point. I didn't prime, but I did put on some of the Jones Road Oil Free Moisturizer, which actually works really nicely as a primer, like right underneath makeup. I, I enjoy it, it's super lightweight, but I've had very dry skin lately. I always have dry skin, but it's been very dry lately, and so I figured might as well give it a little zhuzh of moisture before we go in with this one. The instructions for this guy say to apply it with either fingertips or a sponge. So I think I'm gonna go the fingertip route. And let's take a look at the shade that we've got going on. If I can get my palette, my little butterfly. Come here, butterfly, do you hear this mess? <laughs> Come here, butterfly. All right, let's take a look at the consistency here. Pardon my nails, I picked them all off. It's been a rough couple of weeks over here. All right, not too thick, not too thin. Let's do one side. Oh, I think the shade is going to work for me. I love it when a shade works for me. Cause you know, when you're online, sometimes it's just like blindly guessing at what shade will work because even if it's a brand you're familiar with, that does not mean there is any consistency in their shades. See example, recent Mac releases, which after being known as the standard for creating shades that are consistent from one product to the next, they just, you know, toss that right out with the bath water and uh, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my under eye as well cause this is gonna be a pretty light makeup day. We're gonna keep it simple. Get the nostril, even though I'm gonna end up blowing my nose for sure. 
and wiping it all off. But let's at least start out nice. I really like the, this feels hydrating. Like putting it under my eye especially was like, ooh, moisture, liking that. I would say it's pretty sheer coverage with one pass, although it is doing some color correction of balancing out that redness. Would love it to make these sunspots disappear. All right. Should I do this side and then build it up? Let's actually build up this side a little bit just to see how much coverage we can get. It says it's light coverage, so you know, I'm not wearing it with the intent of it being a real full coverage kind of a product. But let's just go for whatever we can get out of this puppy. Get the schnoz. Get the chin. My chin always has redness and it's one of the first areas to like lose coverage over time. I've been having polka dot pores on my nose and this is actually handling it very gracefully. It's really not collecting in any pores, which is a nice surprise considering my luck lately. I did just get it all in my eyebrows though. That's not the fault of the product. That is user error. All right, there's half of a face with two coats. Probably that's as much coverage as we're gonna end up with, but you know, I'm okay with this. It, really only the darkest of my spots are visible through. It's a very natural skin-like finish. I would say it's got a little bit of a satin crossing into the dewy range. Not a, not super dewy, but it's it's on that, that side of the fence for sure. It is doing some, some redness correction, because I have some redness on my cheeks here that is nicely balanced on this side. All right, this this has enough cut. You know, they call this a tint, which makes me expect it to be sheer. And, you know, but they did accurately describe it as light coverage. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I like coverage. I'm a medium coverage girl. You like that cat hair right on my face? That's nice, that's nice. I don't know if you guys are going to get to see because she's sitting very nicely and I don't want to encourage her to move. But Charlie, the kid, oh, I said her name. Why did I do that? The kitten, who's really not a kitten anymore. She's going to be two in April, uh, is sitting on my vanity in the corner right over here right now. She's not often up here and uh, therefore she's not often on camera. But we'll see. Maybe she, maybe she's gonna change her mind today. I don't know. She's looking out the window. The window's right behind you, and uh, she's watching birds. Or maybe the chipmunk is out there. I have a chipmunk that lives in my front yard. I'm just trying to use up all of what was on that palette, since this is nicely buildable. Out. Another cat hair. Wow, I'm just a mess today. I like this. I really like how this looks. This looks really nice. Like, I like this. I like this. All right, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm looking at. Oh, I gotta blend out my nose first. Let's make sure. That, let's make sure we don't leave a bunch of mess on the nose. All right, the second layer on my nose did start collecting a little bit into those nose pores, but to be fair, everything has been collecting weirdly on my nose lately. Even the best of the best that normally don't collect on my nose. So I can't really put much blame here on Revlon. Let's see. It is giving me some nice color correction on my chin. It, you know, I'm, I'm having polka dot pore issues on my nose and my chin lately. So this is not a surprise. It's just been happening lately. I, I don't know, it just is what it is. I really like the smoothing. I am gonna say I can barely see most of my pores and even the textured side of my face looks like a, has a veil of smoothness over it, but it still looks like I'm looking at my skin. It's not caking up between my eyebrows. Ignore what I got into my eyebrows. That was also user error. It's not caking up on my forehead. It's not settling into my forehead lines or my smile lines. It's not settling anywhere. It's looking really nice. It's not a ton of coverage if you're gonna use it for concealer. 
Uh, I feel like I would probably still put a concealer on with this. I'm not going to today because I just want to see how it behaves under the eyes because why not? But I really like this finish. This finish is like giving me the life to my skin that especially when it's dry, it just looks flat and dull. Whereas this gives it a little bit of plump moisture and a little bit of reflect so it doesn't look flat. It's, it's okay, the Illuminance thing, I get it. I get, that's good name, good name. I, okay, okay. I would call it a little bit more than a tint. It's, it's got a little bit of coverage, which I'm happy about. But if you just wanted a sheer tint, be aware, it's got a little bit of coverage to it. I'd call it light coverage. So did they. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I see you. Let, what's beeping? Something's beeping in my house. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let me go put the rest of my face on, figure out what's beeping, and I will be right back. All right, Illuminance, you're doing your illuminating thing. No issues blending, I'm wearing all powder products. I did not powder this as in setting powder, uh, but I do have powder blush, powder bronzer, powder highlight in the form of the Mom Desert. <gasps> Elf, always rosy, yeah. What is this? Primer Infused Blush. And my new obsession. What's up, beauty? Serengeti. Highlighters. Oh. Like, seriously? Am I back into the whole, like, blingy highlighter? Yeah, yeah. Did I ever really leave? Yeah, no, not really. If you haven't seen these, thank you, What's Up, Beauty, for sending them to me. In PR, this is not sponsored. And uh, I don't have to even show this to you, but I want to because they're gorgeous. Uh, look at this. Every purchase, now it's starting to get blended out because I've been using it, but uh, it's a cheetah. And they have two different shades and every, well, two different shades in each of the two different compacts, I guess. So maybe you would call it four. So like this one is the white pink and this one's a little bit more of a gold pink. I haven't used this one yet. So you can see the cheetah face a little bit better. Every purchase, a portion of the proceeds is donated to support the conservation efforts of the cheetahs in the Serengeti. And the packaging is just gorgeous, and the product is gorgeous, and I'm over the moon with... Right in front of me, living on my vanity, is the Dragon Eye palette from What's Up Beauty, because do you want to see how, much I, how close I am to hitting pan on this guy right here? Like, look at the dent in this thing, and I have not even had this for very long, uh, but I use it constantly. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so that is that. Uh, my eyes are the uh, Cloud9 from ColourPop, and a little bit of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist glitter that is the collab with that singer that I don't know the name of or never heard of her before because I'm old, <laughs> but it's beautiful. Pulled out my old Lawless One and Done mascara. This one is so good and this tube is so dead, like it needs to go in the trash. But have you ever been like, oh, I can get one more look out of it. I can get one more face out of it. I can, I can get one more and then you're like, you, you give it up, girl. You just gotta give it up. Like the, the thing is empty. It's empty. It's done. You just gotta go. Move on. Just move on. I can't. It's so hard. Should I throw it away? No, I can't do it. It's. I can get one more. I can get one more of it. Need to buy a new one. The thing you heard drop was my lower lash line mascara, Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge. Also need a new one of that. That one's even more farther gone than this one. Girl, you just gotta move on. You just gotta move on. My lip is a limited edition high gloss lip oil from Color Street. Uh, Kiss Kiss is the name of it. It's like a lip gloss, but it is lip oil. Mm, my dry lips love it. Is that everything that's on my face? I think so. No, it's not. I've tried this a few times now. Uh, my opinion's not really changing, I, but I'm still not sure if I like it. Uh, this is Maybelline Build a Brow. It's one of those brow pencils. This is the ash brown shade, not pencils, pens. So it's like the felt tip pen, and then the other side is the clear brow gel. 
It is not strong enough to really hold my brows up the way I like them. And it does feel a little bit crunchy as far as the gel goes. Uh, but I feel like the pen has potential. My bangs are being so uncooperative, but let me just show you my brows right now. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you like the pens, you might actually really like this, especially if you don't have the heaviness to your brow hairs that I have. I did not pluck them out in the 90s. I was very anti touching my eyebrows. They were just a unruly mess in the 90s, but at least I didn't pluck them out. And so I still have all my brow hair, uh, but I need a really strong brow gel to hold them up. And I don't like when they feel crunchy, but the, the pen is actually kind of nice. I don't know. I don't know what I think yet. So uh, I think if you like pens, you probably would like this one. My guess is it's a really good pen because most of these brow pens, I try them once and I'm like, nope. So the fact that I've tried it a few times and I'm still trying to figure it out, it might be all right. It might be, all right. I don't know. There you go. There's my probably useless review of the build a brow pen. All right, uh, I'm gonna go about my day not getting a sandwich today because I just ate a little Amy's pesto bowl. So I'm not hungry. When's the last time I filmed and I wasn't hungry? It's like a miracle. I am getting a late start today. I think I forgot to tell you what time it was. It was like 3.20 when I stopped the foundation and started putting the rest of my makeup on. So it's 3.55 now. So about 3.20 we're starting out. So... We'll see how long this goes. We'll, we'll see how long I stay up and keep this on my face. I am gonna go about my day. I'm probably going to get a daylight check-in sooner rather than later so I don't forget. And then I will come back tonight and give you guys my final thoughts. Look at me remembering to do the daylight check-in before the sun completely set. I'm hiding behind a tree right now. Here is our shade match. Looks great, I love this shade. Looking good overall, I'm gonna say. It's been a couple hours, it's 4.57 right now. Oh, here comes the wind. It's freezing cold out today. Let me step aside and get you some daylight. I mean, sunlight, direct sun. Where'd the sun go? There we go. Here it is in direct sunlight. I think it still looks quite nice. Back behind the tree. <laughs> All right, there you have it. I'm about to go in the garage, make some uh, Bakuchi All Cream. So I got my hoodie on, cause it's cold. It's like 32 degrees right now. Ah! And uh, so yeah, by the time you see this, the Bakuchi All should be restocked on my website. How about that? How you like them apples? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. 11.30 p.m. that puts us right around the eight hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Revlon Illuminance, which is now somehow lost on my vanity, <laughs> held up. Woo, got it. It's beautiful. At this point, we're eight hours in. It is a light coverage product. Some of the coverage is dissipating, but it is, degrading in such a graceful way that I feel like it just looks like my skin. The product isn't gunking up, it's not moving around, it's it's just starting to disappear in some places, but that's what I want. I want a graceful degradation when a foundation is making it towards the end of its line. Now, do I wish it could wear beautifully for 16 hours? Well, of course I do, but I don't think this one would make it that far, but I'm not mad at it because I think it's it's looking quite nice. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm looking at here. I did have to blow my nose, shocker, what else is new? I, sh I shouldn't even bother saying that anymore because we all know that's gonna happen. So yeah, ignore what's missing on my nostrils, but it didn't get messy on the bridge of my nose or anything like that. It didn't cake up anywhere. Blush bronzer highlight are still intact, so it served as a good base to those powder products. My chin is showing a little bit of the redness through. That's kind of where I'm I'm saying that it's it's losing its coverage a bit, but it's not settling into lines. It's not 
settling into pores. It's not really accentuating anything I don't want it to, and it still looks very hydrated, especially under my eyes. I've lost coverage there, but they look practically as well hydrated as they were this morning. Yes, yes, Eva, you, you really just have to take the hard way all the time, don't you? There's a much easier, easier, more graceful way to get up there, Ziva. It's also why I have claw marks in the back of my favorite Ikea chair. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good because that is life with a cat, right? Right? She's like, you're talking to your friends again. Let me come up and see them. She knows. She knows. So if I had to give a grade to the Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint, I gotta give it an A. I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I have pretty good luck with Revlon foundations, so I can't say I'm surprised. I'm a little surprised just overall at the fact that we are over the $20 price point in foundations at the drugstore. That seems to be the new norm, and and it's not normal for my wallet or my heart. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> like, I don't feel like my income keeps up with the prices of things anymore. Anyone else? Anyone else feeling that? Like, holy cow, my grocery, my cat food bill. I was, I was checking. Pre-pandemic versus now, the only difference is one kitten. So, I mean, yeah, she eats some food, but... She doesn't eat triple the food, and my cost has gone up triple. Anyway, I'm just, okay, tangent. I would feed you guys, I would live in a cardboard box to feed you the best. To feed you the best. Rise you up. She's purring her head off. You probably can't hear it, but you're a good Ziva. You're a good Ziva baby. Say hi to your fans. Your fans love you. They love you. You should have your own channel. Should I make you a TikTok? Should I make you a TikTok? She's not really the most interesting cat. She just follows me around all day. That's all. Like, oh, I love you, Ziva. I love you. She, she's also not the smartest cat. She's the sweetest thing, though. I've never met a cat that loves everyone as much as this one here. Yeah. All right, I'll let you guys go. I figured I'd give you some Ziva time. You know, we all need some good Ziva time sometimes. There you have it. Another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments, what should I pick up next? I keep a running list. I buy new stuff whenever I can get my grubby paws on it. And... Check out, I have one new thing linked in the description. If you've ever felt like your skincare routine is totally random and you can't tell if it's working, I made a worksheet to help plan and track your skincare routine. Now, do I fill out a tracker like that every week? Not anymore, I've got my skincare routine basically memorized at this point, but when I started out, I did. When I was testing things and trying to find the right products for me, so, if you would like it, free download, check in the description box. I've got a link down there. I am also planning, let me know if you think this is a good idea. I'm planning to make, based on my eyeshadow brush video the other day, where I was talking about like the different shapes of the brushes and why I use what I use, I'm thinking of making like illustrated pictures of the different like sizes and types of brushes that I use that you could take with you in a store to like hold a brush up next to it and see if they're approximately in the same ballpark and if if you happen to need the same kind of brush as I do. Would that be helpful to you? Let me know. I'll make a download for it if that would be something you would be interested in. There you have it. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.